Hello everyone, welcome to episode 94 of my Ravi Chess series on chess.com. We are at 1493 and let's search for an opponent. Maybe we jump back to 1500. Maybe we drop back 1480. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Is this Italy or Hungary? I think it's Hungary. It is. Wait, we did we play him before? No. Queen pawns opening. As usual. What's the strategy today? Play solid and quick. That's what I always tell myself, but never follow through. We might get a, a, a different opponent. Oh, okay. Dutch defense. Okay. This, I've been playing a lot against the Dutch defense, and it's been pretty useful. I think it's called Hopton attack or something like that. The idea is to just chop, chop this knight, basically. Hopped on attack. I think I'm just gonna instantly chop the knight. And we'll see afterwards what we can do. It does have ways to attack my center. Oh wow, he takes like that. Bit unexpected. If I could put my knight here, it might be a good idea. I also have a check. Okay, okay, I've got options. Develop, simply develop, and we'll figure it out later. I'm not gonna go for a crazy attack, <laughs> even though I want to. Okay. I could fianchetto myself, and it's probably gonna be a good idea. I could just go here and here, but I don't see the don't see the point. Bishop to c4 looks okay. Uh, d5. And he's gonna shut me down. Instead, let's attack a pawn. But then he fianchettos and takes takes. Knight out. Knight out it is then. Now we're gonna attack the pawn with a tempo. How is he going to defend that pawn? And we're ready to castle. Can attack the pawn again. Maybe go for something crazy like, let's say after I castle, attack the pawn. Takes, takes, check. <clears throat> He has to move up. Let's see. Takes, takes. And give a check. Goes here. Can go here. Bring the rook. It should be fun. Should be fun. I'm thinking to sack a knight. Not sure if I'm actually. I think the bishop 
likes to go to these two squares. Bishop to d6 is an idea, but he's probably going to push d5, b4. Or he can castle long. That's always an option. So we can make sure he doesn't castle long by taking wait takes takes check then he could block win it's gonna get another pawn Okay. Okay, c3 looks solid. I need more pieces into the attack. Unfortunately, he's gonna castle long. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. Ooh. I like that. Can we sack? Check. If he gets the chance to castle long, it's not worth it anymore. But I don't see what, what can he play. Slow to enter the game. Bishop doesn't have any good squares. This pawn is a weakness. Okay, but then this is even stronger. This is even stronger, actually. He cannot push because I take this guy. There's no more checks, but he has to address this threat and defending with the rook shouldn't be a good idea. Okay, I think that's a good move. I think that's a very good move. Push. If I push and he takes, I'll be more than happy to take. If I push and he pushes, I can push again. Takes, takes, takes. Can he kick me away now? Yes, and it's gonna be nasty. No, this is attacked twice. Sacrifice ideas? I hope not. Um, question is, where is he gonna castle? You know what I mean? This move is annoying, but not a big problem. I'm taking... I'm gonna take back with the C pawn, probably. One attacker, one defender. I'm okay to push e4. e4. Push, push. Take, 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 take. It's now or never. You know, I don't like to push e4. Now or never. But now I'm threatening to take the pawn, so he has to do something. 
taking basically just delays the inevitable and I might just pick up this pawn because then I pin the knight <clears throat> actually if he take take on f5 so I think he has to take And then he has to take again, otherwise this pawn is hanging, so takes, takes, attacking the bishop and this pawn twice. So he has to take again, but then I take and attack this pawn. So yeah, I just want to get rid of my e pawn. Interesting, but that's just going to be a check. I can take here straight away because if takes takes it can go back and protect so that doesn't work pushing take. I think taking is the strongest option because the battery is not lined up properly meaning the bishop is in front of the queen and if I take, take, step out of danger he does have maybe this crazy sacrifice but takes and I step here so takes, check here, here comes with a check. I'm on time to capture with my knight for now. But takes and push, then it's a problem. I guess then I'll go here. I think he has check here, check, takes. I should be safe, but I'm not sure. So let's find out. Let's find out together. I might want to move towards the uh, queen side. Okay, but now I really... Okay. The knight is not pinned anymore. I could... Um, I could consider... Sucking the rook. And if he takes, I fork him. And if he protects... He takes my knight. And I won't have much. This is attacked twice, protected only twice. Takes, 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 takes. This allows this nasty trick so how do we stop this how do we stop this um brewing attack knight here is an option if it pushes i'm okay to jump in so knight here takes I can't even take with the knight. Then I'll drop this pawn. Knight, knight d to f3 should be the right move. I 
I'm never afraid of this. This should be the move. I'm jumping. This has to be the move. Problem is what I capture back with. If I capture back with queen, check, move out. I always have this square. I hope it doesn't take. Okay, that's really not a problem. I can go here, but after takes, takes, I'm gonna lose this pawn. Still threatening this pawn. Um, I might capture with my pawn. Okay, there's no en passant because he made two moves. And this is the only move. Is it? Takes. Takes. Push. Is probably the only sensible move. But now I'm attacking this guy twice. So he has to take. And I have to take back. But this pawn is going to be uh, really annoying. Okay, he will have that. Um, Check. If I push, he just attacks me and I cannot defend. Check. Now oh, he has this pawn move after, after the check. Doesn't work. Check. I'm in big trouble now. Check. Here, check, here, if he goes there, I go here. I think this move will, in a weird way, help me.
because everything is locked. Now I can even go here, but I don't know. Could go with the rook here and push. Whoa, what's that move? Well, rook to e7 looks solid. If I push first, then here, he should be in trouble. Here, he cannot go there. So here, 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 doesn't work. So, yeah, I think this is good. I think this is actually good. It, both diagonals are shut down. So that's amazing. So it's time to counterattack now. Protect the pawn. And we might attack the rook. On this move, takes, takes. Should be good. But queen to e2, preparatory move could be even stronger. Queen here, rook here. Just bulldoze him. And also go there. But... Takes... Hmm. Okay. So basically, he's attacking my knight, right? Attacking my knight. If I go here, at some point maybe he can take. Um, I still want to play queen to e2. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, the idea is to come here, but he cannot, he can never move the bishop. And my knight is actually protected, so I think I'm going to start with queen to e2 afterwards and rook to e1, and I'm on three minutes. This is the only move that I see. Is this a move? I don't know. I'm gonna play queen to e2 regardless. Also hitting the pawn and protecting my rook. This is always a possibility. Not now though, because it's protected, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so he wants to open, but I'm just going to take the queen. He wants to open the, take the queen, 
pushes, this guy will be protected. He might have uh, had a, a brain, brain fog. Okay. I think I can take. Okay, he resigns. Yeah, it, it was just a blunder. It happens. He, you just overthink a very complicated position and you have like a blind spot. Um, this was a very intense game. 86. 80, 86. On the dot, 86% against 73. Relax is just a game. Oh, mate, I can never relax playing chess, me. So we played like a 2100 against 1350. That's what computer estimates. Zero blunders. But my opponent had zero blunders, zero misses. I think he played like a solid 1500 at least. Um, opening was just good. His was not so good. My middle game was best, good, best. And his was good as well, but yeah. All time high. It is with great pleasure that I inform you that we have an all time high. Um, let's quickly go through it. It's not, if you look at the graph, there's not much to it. So let's see these key moments. Him fianchettoing was not the best, but I think it was a good good idea. And h5 is a mistake. Because push something similar happened in the game. I think I found the move push. Oh no. No, 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 that was later. <laughs> okay. Should it taken now? If he takes, this would be the best move. And then... I could have had a 2.6 advantage out of this position. Interesting. And what else? This was a mistake because I completely shot both diagonals and this bishop is stuck. So I'm very proud of my defensive resources. This was inaccuracy, more like a blunder. This is the book move of Hopton attack. Okay, that's good to know. Takes, takes. And he played the book move. I played the book move as well. And wow, queen out. I should have done that. Look at these weird pawn moves. It's crazy. So this was inaccuracy, I could have brought the queen out. Best move. Excellent. C4. Computer likes C4. Again, computer likes C4. Rook to E1, lining up already the rook and the king. Mistake, inaccuracy, E4 is the best. Best move. E4, best move. He plays the best move, best move. Castles, excellent. F takes g6 is the best move. Bishop e4. Bishop e4. But. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So I just drop back in accuracy. Best move, best move, best move, best move, best move. Best move, best move. Good. 
in this position this is much better but oh i see oh i see so this is just good but it's very equal i kind of lost my advantage but here as soon as i lock both diagonals i got back the initiative inaccuracy queen f4 is the best move excellent queen d2 computer already wanted me to play queen d2 best move best move excellent best move inaccuracy let's say he played something like this uh, which is more normal i would have followed with this which is not the best move okay attacking the queen wait it is the third best move of the computer anyways even though he says it's an inaccuracy, that's what I was planning on doing. Uh, let's say he finds all the best moves, right? Okay. Um, he, basically, he's attacking the pawn. Okay, what would I have done? Here. Doesn't work. Here just takes hmm hmm yeah this was too slow this was too slow. That's true. Now he's attacking my pawn and I cannot really defend the pawn. Hmm. What? It's checkmate here. Okay, very interesting. So I don't know if I would have continued with an advantage. But I think the game was decent. My performance was decent. I was lucky, especially here. I locked diagonals and... He just had a blind spot and he, he blundered. That's it. I hope you learned something. Um, I don't really know how to play this. Uh, how is it called? Hobston? Hopkins? Um, I don't even know. And maybe we get the name of the opening. The opening. Hopton. All right. Um, I don't really know how to play the Hopton attack, but I had great success with with this uh, variation against the Dutch defense because that knight is pretty strong, so you just trade it off, and you don't really need that bishop. Um, you use your pawns uh, for dark. You give up the dark squared bishop. And it takes Dutch players out of prep, and they're a bit surprised. And the position transposes into something unusual to them. So give it a try. If you if you're facing the Dutch defense, try the Hopton attack. Just develop the bishop and take the knight right away, and then develop as normal and see how it goes. It was a um, so far, I won most games that I played uh, with this Hopton attack.
So I think it's pretty good. Imagine if you actually study all the potential variations and stuff like that. Your opponent won't have a clue. So I hope you learned something. Hope to see you tomorrow as well. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.